Now, folks, I know you can't see it, but I'm shedding happy tears right now because we got our first glimpse at EA Sports College Football 25. And today, I'm going to give you all my thoughts, my reactions, and my takeaways to not just the trailer that was released this morning, but also juicy gameplay details as we continue to count down the days until the game's release in mid-July. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, check us out via podcast on social media, as well as our website, secunfiltered.com. We're brought to you by our friends over at Prize Picks. Guys, download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com. And when you do, use the promo code SECU for a first deposit match of up to $100. Again, guys, prizepicks.com or download the Price Picks app promo code SECU to get your first deposit match today. At long last, guys, it felt like forever. We were never going to reach this day where we knew without a shout of a doubt we are getting another college football video game. And the fine folks over at EA Sports Right? We got a release date, then we got covers. This morning, we got our first video game trailer. We got screenshots, and we got gameplay details. And I'm sure by now, guys, you guys have seen the trailer. I'm not going to air it here. If you have not seen it, go to our social media handles. Really, guys, just go to the internet, right? It's all over the place. I'm not going to air it here, though, just for fear that it might get ripped off of YouTube. Either way, though. I want to give you guys my thoughts, my reactions. We're going to pull up EA Sports' website in just a moment and go through some of these gameplay details, what the game is going to entail. And guys, let me preface all this by saying this. I am a huge, huge college football video game fan. I'm not just doing this because it's good for content, good for business. You guys are interested. Like, I grew up on playing the NCAA football video games. I think the first one I ever played was back in the early 2000s. Aaron Rodgers, when he was at Cal, was on the cover. And I mean, every single year, you would look forward to the release of the video game and playing the video game all summer and all preseason long, counting down the days to actual kickoff. Then week of game, playing that game on your console. We all love Road to Glory and building your dynasty and recruiting. Like, I am a diehard. I'm not a huge gamer either, but I'm a diehard when it comes to these college football video games, and I cannot freaking wait. Number one, because the child in me selfishly can't wait to play it. But guys, number two, the content is going to be bleeding out of the eyeballs, as I like to say. Now, when it comes to the trailer, specifically, that was released this morning. Number one, guys, graphics look incredible, right? I mean, the the game, the presentation itself looks beautiful. The thing that I noticed in the game, and I think most of us probably noticed, the attention to detail on traditions. LSU hitting the wind bar. Oklahoma running out. Iowa waving to the Children's Hospital. What a great touch that was. Notre Dame hitting a play like a champion sign. Uh, There were others that I'm probably forgetting as well, right? We saw some gameplay shots of... You know, Michael Williams sacking Jalen Milrow, right, in a matchup between Georgia and Alabama. We saw Quinn Ewers throwing a deep pass. We saw Travis Hunter diving, right? Like, the attention to details in the stadiums, the uniforms, everything. And again, of course, it's a trailer. They're going to they're gonna make it look great. But the attention to detail and everything looks so great, looks so good. I don't know how you can watch that trailer and not be fired up. Guys, speaking of traditions, we had Bevo. We had Florida touching the gator head. Again, there's so many others that I'm probably forgetting. Hey, it started with blue turf. Who doesn't love blue turf in the video game? We saw Smokey. We saw Taylor Green for Arkansas scoring a touchdown. I'm trying to think of the others because there were so, so many others. Um, Incredible. Like, there's no way that you can watch that trailer and be anything other than ecstatic when it comes to the game. Now, let's take a look at EA Sports, their website. Uh, Guys, do want to go through some of the game modes that were released. Here we go. Game modes that were released by EA Sports for EA Sports College Football 25. Again, guys, you see the screenshots. So, 
We've got dynasty mode. Create a coach, build a powerhouse college ball program from the ground up, establish coaching staff, recruit the best talent, utilize the transfer portal. So we got transfer portal in the game. Going to be really interesting to see how they work in NIL as well. Watch your program ascend. This one's a no-brainer. We knew Dynasty was going to be there. Thank goodness, road to glory. Thank goodness, road to glory. Manage your weekly schedule, GPA. You got to keep your grades up and your image. Earn coach trust, which we were familiar with from playing the game previously. If you did so, like I did, guys. Wrote, like, again, I'm not a huge gamer, but there's two game modes that I can sit there and play endlessly. Road to the show and MLB the show and road to glory in college football video games. I mean, it is such a blast. Um, the other game modes. Okay, here we go. Ultimate team. So this is one I've seen a lot of mixed reactions here. Um, build your dream team of college ball stars and legends. Play solo challenges or head-to-head -head sessions. Uh, I'm not a huge ultimate team guy, admittedly. This is sort of a newer thing in the last 10 years or so with video games. I don't know how excited people are going to be about Ultimate Team, but either way, I guess it's a cool feature. And then here's an interesting one, Road to the College Football Playoff. Experience a new way to play competitively, represent your favorite team in the Road to, road to the College Ball Playoff. Climb the pole by upsetting the toughest opponents, make it to the playoff, and vie for the national championship. I'm curious what the difference in Road to the College Football Playoff and like dynasty is going to be. I guess Road to the College Ball Playoffs is going to be one individual season, not a dynasty, but I, I just kind of, I'm curious what the differences are going to be because it sounds like you're just playing a season. You know what I mean? So those are your game modes, though. Uh, more gameplay stuff. Here we go. True college gameplay. This is interesting. Wide range of player ratings. Uh, new in-game passing mechanics. Strategic, fast-paced gameplay reflecting the true depth of college football. The wear and tear system. This is pretty cool. Manage your player's health, limit fatigue, assess risk of injury, avoid on-field mistakes, by using strategic substitutions to ensure your players are at their best when it counts. Uh, Pre-snap recognition. That's not something new to a football game. Home field advantage. Thank goodness. This is going to be so awesome. Home team has a tangible gameplay advantage. Uh, test your squad's road game composure as you face various levels of distractions like screen shaking, missing pre-play icons, and moving play art. I, I think that's something they've had in Madden as well. But we love the fact there's an emphasis on home field advantage. And look at that screenshot, guys, of Oklahoma. That's insane. I mean, that looks like real life right there. That looks like real life. Uh, and then finally, here we go. Iconic atmospheres. Batter your rivals. Pageantry and traditions, right? There's Mike the Tiger. Mike the Tiger's never looked so good before. Uh, this is cool. Commentary and broadcast. Listen to iconic voices. Kirk Kerbstreet, Chris Fowler. They're going to call the, the marquee matchups. But also, Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, Reese Davis. They're going to call your lesser games. So if you're playing just kind of a normal, like, non-conference game, maybe, you're going to have different broadcasters on the game, which is going to be so freaking cool. Um, there was more, I'm not exactly sure where the detail, um, here we go. Cross play. I think this is where, okay, maybe not. I, I saw some information about, unless I missed it in game modes, they are going to have online dynasty. That's going to be a thing. I'm not exactly sure where on the website it is, but they are going to have online dynasty. So that's going to be a thing. That's going to be awesome. Um, okay, this is just EA play. That's not where we want to go. So anyways, they're going to have online dynasty. Those are limited, by the way, I think to 32 members. So you want to make sure you're inviting people over. But guys, again, we're not going to be able to judge this game more so until we actually get the game, we can play the game. I'm sure we're going to get more gameplay footage as we get closer, but I tell you guys, a first look, I'm excited, I'm fired up. We're going to do an SEC unfiltered online dynasty, by the way, so stay tuned for that when it comes out. And guys, I've already went ahead, listen, I'm a proud owner already of the Deluxe Edition. I'm getting this game three days early. We're going to stream the heck out of this thing. It's the week of SEC media days, so it's going to be content bleeding out the eyeballs truly, and uh, yeah, I mean, everything looks great, man. I, I really, truly like was was giddy. I was sitting there fist pumping, watching the trailer this morning, just getting all fired up and excited. And uh, 
Yeah. I mean, I, I just, how can you not be elated, man? All of us out there that grew up playing this game and love this game and love the college ball series and hated that it went away. And I'm someone, I've been streaming off my PlayStation 3 that I've jailbroken the old NCAA 14 game. And also, by the way, before we get out of here, we need to take a moment to thank the folks over at College Football Revamped. Thank the folks over at SG1 Sports. Thank the folks at whoever else out there has made rosters. Because I tell you, folks like College Football Revamped and those who have made up-to-date rosters, you have gotten us through the last decade. And so I think everyone needs to take a moment to thank those folks. Because I tell you, it would have been much less enjoyable. The offseason would have been much less bearable had we not had the college football revamp stuff, the updated rosters. Those folks deserve a freaking shout-out. I mean, those folks absolutely deserve a shout-out. So, anyways, guys, I'm fired up. I'm excited. What are you most looking forward to in the EA Sports College Football 25 video game? What are you most excited to play? Cannot wait for the release of this game in mid-July. Guys, that's going to do all for me. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of when we go live and when we drop new video content, which is each and every single day. Also, guys, check out the podcast, which drops daily iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us across all social media platforms as well as our website, secunfiltered.com. Until next time, guys, I'm Chris Phillips of SEC Unfiltered. Appreciate each and every single one of you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the other side.